And I, you know, I just grew up in church around people doing stuff. Because what I came to find out was that the most important people in church were the people behind the scenes. Yes, that's right. Good point. Right. Good point. Man. It wasn't the people out front. That's right. That's right. It's the unknown faces yes. that you don't see yes. that make everything move. And nobody ever calls their name, but if they weren't there, right. you would know right. something was wrong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And, you know, if we get it right in terms of what it means to bear fruit, then we come to understand that in fruit bearing, hear me, all of us are not going to bear the same kind of fruit. Very true. God has not made us all the same. Insecurity will cause you not to be what God made you. Because you will think of yourself as inferior to somebody else. None of us are inferior to anybody. Right. We just have different purposes. Yeah. You open up your refrigerator. There is a 40-watt bulb in there. It's an appliance bulb. It's a 40-watt bulb in your refrigerator. Yeah. That bulb is there for the express purpose of lighting your refrigerator. Uh, you go outside, though. You got a floodlight outside. Sometimes that may be up to 500-watt spotlight. Now guess what? You won't, you don't want your 500 watt spotlight in your refrigerator, <laughs> right? Right. Because even though it may light the refrigerator, it's out of place and out of purpose. Right. I don't need that much light in my refrigerator. Right. Conversely. I could take the 40 watt bulb out and stick it outside, mm -hmm. yeah. but it won't light up much. Are y'all with me in here? Yeah. Now, is the 40 watt bulb less important than the 500 watt bulb? No. no. It serves a different purpose. In the church, we all serve different purposes. And so, whatever fruit you bear in your capacity, be the best you can be in that capacity. Don't worry about, well, I can't do it like so-and-so, I can't do what they do. You're not over there to do what they do. You're there to do what you do. And you do it to the best of the ability you have. Now, if we operate in just that core competency that I, you know, I know what I'm supposed to do. This morning, I figured out that my competency is in a pulpit. <laughs> it is not in doing secretarial work. <laughs> because when I pushed that button and that error message came up, I did not have a clue All right. about how to clear that error message off. And I sat there punching buttons. And finally, I just, I just had to call. I said, you know, I hate to call you. I know it's early, and I know you all, you all sick, but I need you to tell me what to do for this. I don't know what in the world to do. And she could talk me through everything I did, and it worked out perfect. I sat there for I don't know how long trying to figure that thing out. But guess what? It was because I was out of position. Are y'all with me in here? And any time we operate out of position, we will never produce what we are producing. Amen, somebody. Now, that is so important. Everybody that loves the same ought not be in the choir. All right. Yes, sir. Amen. Some of us that love the same, we do our best singing in the shower. <laughs> and 
And so if I know that my voice, I can't even blend it with myself. <laughs> Let's know with somebody else. Then, then I, I know I'm going to throw a whole section off. Yeah. And just so I can be up there singing in the choir, no, baby, that's all right. I tell you what, I'm going to support y'all from out here in the pew. All right, all right. And I'm going to find my spot in the church yes. where I can produce good fruit. Right, right. Now, that is so, so, so very important that we understand. Now, let me take it another step. because.